Hello and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Teniola Shobo Ali. Nigeria's president has once again condemned the recent attacks targeted at African migrants in South Africa, forcing many Nigerians who were victims of the violence to return home. During a meeting with his South African counterpart in Cape Town today, President Buhari expressed the hope that appropriate measures would be taken to prevent a recurrence of the attacks. In his remarks, President Ramaphosa apologized for the incident, reaffirming his country's commitment to the ideals of African unity. Before the commencement of the Binational Commission meeting, President Buhari inspected a guard of honor at the Union buildings, marking the formal commencement of his three-day state visit to the country. President Mohamed Buhari's state visit began with all the essentials of the ceremonial. After a private chat between the two leaders, delegates from both sides settled to the Binational Commission, the first since it was elevated to the presidential level. A warm welcome to you and your distinguished delegation. Your visit is important to us. Both sides also openly endorsed what's been agreed behind closed doors and the presidents addressed the media. The host once more apologized for the recent violence against foreign nationals in South Africa, which led to reprisal attacks in other countries, including Nigeria. And President Buhari condemned the attacks on both sides and cautioned Nigerians as well to live according to the laws of wherever they're living in. Um, I think Nigerians know the stand of the leadership, that when you are in Rome, you do what the Romans do. When you are in a country, you study the people and the laws and you get yourself uh, in line with what the authorities and the people accept there. If you do anything outside uh, the people's understanding and agreement, they will not, eventually, they will not accept it. We welcome the willingness of the government of Nigeria to work with us to address these challenges. During our talks, we reviewed a range of issues of bilateral and continental and global interest to both countries. From the union buildings, all proceeded elsewhere for the Niger South Africa Business Forum. The 18-point joint communique from the Binational Commission talked about commitment to the strategic relationship between both countries continentally and globally, as well as the re-establishment of the consular forum for both countries to meet twice a year. President Mohamed Buhari's official state visit engagements end this Thursday. On Friday morning, he's expected to hold a town hall meeting with Nigerian citizens before departing for Nigeria. From the Union Buildings in Pretoria, South Africa, Betty Dibia, Channels Television News. Betty joins us now for more on both presidents' meeting. Betty, uh, what have been the areas of discussion between President Buhari and uh, President Amaposa? Well, apart from the, what is talked about now, the issue of the recent violence uh, between uh, uh, meted out to uh, African nationals, other African nationals, they talked about all the areas of cooperation and agreement. Uh, in that report, we talked about the Binational Commission. Uh, as we stand, Nigeria has 32 agreements and some um, memoranda or memorandums of understanding uh, between both countries. So they talked about those that may have expired, the renewal of such, and those who are those that are still pending that need to be uh, agreed upon. Uh, part of the, there was a 20, uh, an 18-point communique uh, that was issued, a joint communique at the end of the meeting. They, 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 they agreed to, apart from all the cooperation uh, globally and continentally, to also um, look at the issues of trade uh, to boost trade. Of course, there are issues issues here and there that they still uh, have to like uh, smoothen out. Uh, they agreed as well as part of the agreements in the Binational Commission for the consular forum between both countries 
to meet, I think, twice yearly uh, going forward to re-establish it because I think it's been dormant. Even the Bar National Commission has been dormant for a number of years. Some of the subcommittees have been actually active, like the defense, defense or military committees. They've been meeting more often than the others, but they agreed to continue cooperating. They talked about the special bond, the special relationship and um, shared values the issue of the African uh, Continental Free Trade Agreement, areas that they can do much better in order to hold up the entire continent because, as they all agree, both countries' economies uh, and the cooperation between both countries is essential for the development of the continent. Well, Betty, as part of uh, his three-day visit, President Buhari is expected to uh, visit and meet with the Nigerian community there. Um, how is the Nigerian community in South Africa feeling about uh, President Buhari's visit, especially coming weeks after uh, xenophobic attacks? Uh, many are happy. Uh, many are uh, happier, too, that the president has condemned the recent happenings uh, openly you know, to the country that uh, fine, these issues have been uh, addressed. Uh, the, the exchange of special envoys between both countries and both presidents speaking about it, that has happened. But they're happy, a sense of belonging uh, as well. But uh, uh, um, you still have the issue. I think during the ceremony today, some groups from IPOP, that's, um, I can't remember how, how, how you break down IPOP, but IPOP members were around the vicinity of the union buildings, but I think they were repelled by by the security agencies. So there are Nigerians who are, uh, are eager to meet with the president, but we know that such an event can be as huge as many people would want it to be. So many uh, are, are hoping they could be part of it, but that may not be possible. But they're looking forward to it. It's supposed to hold here in Pretoria um, on Friday morning uh, before the president leaves for, for Nigeria. Yeah, and Bessie, just before I let you go, I want you to talk to us about, you know, the uh, dynamism in Nigeria-South Africa relations at the moment and whether or not um, President Buhari's visit could help to, you know, mend the issues that exist. Could you repeat that question? Yeah, I want you to talk to us about the dynamism of the Nigeria-South Africa relations at the moment and whether, uh, you know, <laughs> President Mahamudu Buhari's visit could help in some way mend the uh, frailties that exist in that relations at the yeah. moment. Definitely. Any diplomatic exchange is welcome as long as it's positive and it will help. You remember that President Zuma had visited in 2016 and President Ramaphosa had visited uh, on a working visit uh, 2018 as well. So the return of the visit uh, is, is, is very important diplomatically to show, yes, we're working together and we're happy being friends or sisters, brothers, with you. So uh, President Buhari has also invited the South African president. The date has been on state visit. Um, that will be revealed later. But I think giving the recent happening, the presence of the president here in Nigeria, um, as we talk, this some outfit on this. And they're saying, thank God he's here. Probably there may be some peace going forward. Let them talk about the issues that we're having both ways. And uh, yes, uh, 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 there will be peace uh, after this. Um, generally, people are happy. And the president, the presence of the president has been and people have been watching to hear what he has. Everything that has happened is uh, we're going to work together to make sure that things are much better going forward. But he, indeed, his presence here uh, has helped. All right, then, Betty, a lot to look forward to uh, this coming days. Our South African Bureau Chief, Betty Dubia, speaking to us there from Johannesburg. Thank you.